Quiet on the Quiet set. On the set. And, and action. Action. Howdy, y'all. This is Good Morning LCA. It's time to wake up and get informed. We're your new Good Morning LCA team. My name is Olivia. And I'm Amy. Today is Wednesday, November 13th. Olivia, what's with the howdy stuff? That's not what we planned. Well, I got to thinking since that fourth grade just went to the rodeo last weekend, we should use some rodeo talk in our show. You know, kind of rodeo things up a little. Oh, I get it. Well then, we have an ace high show plan for you guys today. That means a great show plan. My turn. Now, we've got a heap of news for you Wranglers today, so hitch up your wagon and listen up. Nice. Okay guys, let's get into this month's character trait for November. The trait is wisdom. The, de the definition for wisdom is finding out what you should do and doing it. And the verse for wisdom comes from Proverbs 8.10. It says, take my instruction instead of silver and knowledge rather than choice gold. Okay, we've reached the point in our show to honor our flag and country. You know what that means? It's time to say the pledge. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Check this out. Get ready for some news you can use. Okay, like we said earlier, fourth grade just got to go to our radio this past weekend, and we want to share some pics with you. Take a look at these. Family Service Day. There are lots of ways you can help. Other students can bring in sandwich supplies, so you can give even if you can't be there. That's right, Amy. Also, pre-K and lower school students and families can pack sandwiches for the homeless. Then intermediate school and upper school students and families can work at Cornerstone Ranch to serve the homeless. There are lots of ways you can give to others. The deadline for ordering your Christmas poinsettias is this Friday, November 15th. Go online to Legacy website to order yours. You can also order your tickets for the Magical Dinner online. Tickets are $25 for the dinner. Dates for this event are December 13th and 14th. Don't miss this wonderful event. Okay guys, that's it for the news. Time for the weather report. And wow, things have certainly changed. It really feels like fall now. What's ahead for the rest of this week? That's right, Olivia. We had a cold front come through yesterday, and we're going to be feeling its effects for the next few days. Looking ahead, we have a slight warm-up. Yep, today's high will only be around 48 degrees, and the low tonight at around 34. Brr. But we will be warming back up into the 50s tomorrow and back up into the 60s for the weekend. We also have a slight chance of rain on Friday and Saturday, so be ready for that. And for the moon phase, it's still waxing gibbous as we head towards a full moon. The full moon will occur on Sunday night. Ooh! Okay guys, that's it for the weather report. You shoot 
scores! He shoots, he scores. Three points. It's time for some legacy sports. Okay, this is for all you football fans. Our Legacy Eagles football team won last Friday night, so we are district champs. Woohoo! That means our next game will be a playoff game. We'll go up against Fort Worth Calvary this Friday night at home. The game starts at 7.30, so be there. Now for the basketball news. The boys varsity team plays at home tomorrow against Parish Episcopal. Tip-off is at 7.30. The girls varsity team will be participating in a tournament this weekend. Time's and place to be announced. Remember, there's a lots of other basketball games. We have junior high and junior varsity, too. For the latest sports news, check out our website at www.legacyca.com. Go fight, win, go Eagles! Hey guys, we have a special buzz on books today. Miss Hamilton will be interviewing a mystery author who teaches right here at Legacy. Take it away, Miss Hamilton. lots of writers in our school, but I'm not sure if you knew that we have a teacher who's an author at Legacy too, Mrs. Montes, who teaches second grade. That's right, Mrs. Montes and her husband have published four books called Young Eagles Armor Academy. It's a series and I thought it would be great to have her on the show with me so I could ask her some questions about her books. Hi, Mrs. Montes. Hi. Thanks for joining us on the Buzz on Books. Tell us about your books. Well, the book series is called Young Eagles Armor Academy. In each book, cousins Flap and Harpy, along with their other eagle friends, attend eagle school at Young Eagles Armor Academy, where they embark on a new adventure each time that teaches them to soar in faith and friendship. How long did it take you to write these books? Well, we wrote all four books over the course of a year, and we actually had to go through the writing process just like the students here do. We had to write drafts, we had to work with an editor, and rewrite until we had stories that were ready for publishing. We also had to work with an illustrator who lived in Yugoslavia. Oh my gosh, that's far away. Did you get the illustrator to draw the pictures the way that you wanted them? The, did the characters look the same in your head that you had pictured? You know, actually, he did a fabulous job. He actually read our story, and then he created characters, and then, of course, we had to approve them. So he did a great job. They were all original. Where did you get the idea for your book? Well, we actually wrote a children's leadership program called Young Eagles Armor Academy. We presented that program across the nation for years, and we had always wanted to take the ideas from the program and turn it into a book series. Cool. Well, to make a long story short, we were approached by a publisher and asked to do just that and submit some samples, and they loved it. Our desire has always been to help children grow in godly character and are very thankful that God opened that door of opportunity for us. God is good. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Montez, for being on the thank show. You. If you want to check out any of these cool books, please come by the library. Not this week, because we're still working on them to get them cataloged. We have a copy of each of the books. I read them on the airplane coming back from California, and I loved them, and I know you're going to like them. Well, that's it for the Buzz on Books. Have a great week. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> and Mrs. Montez. You guys rock. It's time for Bible trivia. How much do you know about God's Word? Time to learn something new. That's right. Okay, our last question came from the Old Testament and was about Solomon. We asked which books of the Bible did Solomon write? Did you know this one? Well, you knew there were three books because we gave you a hint. And those books are Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and Song of Solomon. Great job for those of you who knew that one. That was hard. It's time for a new question. For today's question, we're going back to the Old Testament. Ready? Whose name means father of a multitude? You can read all about this person in the book of Genesis. Well, that's not much of a hint, Olivia. Well, we've been too easy lately, and these guys are good. They need a hard question every now and then. Be sure to watch us next time to see if you got it right. Okay, that's our share for today. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new.
It's time to end with a joke. But we're all out of turkey jokes, but no worries, because we have a great joke that was sent in by Caden in Miss Snyder's class. Yeah, thanks, Caden. Okay, which player on the football team has the biggest helmet? The player with the biggest head. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone. Have a bull riding, calf ripping, steer wrestling kind of day. Shout out Talk to Lily. I'm hungry. Let's go. Happy Veterans Day. Shout out to Riley Ferrier one more time. Everyone. Shout out to Abby too and Grace Lightyear. Oh, Abby Rice.